Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have some 2020 facts to talk about that are quite awesome and ironical and a reminder of how things have changed over the years. And we have other stories to cover including what looks like Royce's attempt at trolling. So stick around as we run through these topics. And if you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. And find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with an ironical and surprising fact of Eminem in 2020 and following the official appearance of Eminem and Cardi's latest song on the Hot 100, Eminem has now extended his Hot 100 tally to 13 songs on the US chart in 2020, and this has smashed pre-hiatus Eminem's record and is more of a testament of how the charts have changed drastically. From 99 to 2004, often regarded as Eminem's peak and factually correct based on his album sales at that time, Eminem only charted 12 songs on the Hot 100 from 99 to 2004, and in 2020 alone, he's blown past that and we just crossed the first half of the year. Including feature credits, 2020 appearances on the charts ties Eminem's appearances from 99 to 2004, both at 13, and I expect younger folks especially to be surprised by this, and I'll break it down. This is all just a testament to Eminem's longevity and the changes the industry has undergone through the years with the rise of digital downloads and now music streaming, and also the fall of radio. Back then, when Eminem started, radio pretty much had absolute power and physical copies of singles had to be sent to radio stations. This will begin to change from 2005 with the incorporation of digital sales for the first time thanks to the rise of platforms like iTunes. More was incoming and in 2012, on-demand streaming from audio platforms contributed to the chart's outcome and it was only in 2013 that things hit overdrive with the incorporation of YouTube data into the Hot 100. So comparing artists today to those in the past based on number of hits registered could be described as comparing apples to oranges and in 2020 alone, Lil Uzi Vert leads for chart entries with 36 singles and Michael Jackson managed 51 chart entries in his entire career. So in this case, comparing pre-hiatus Eminem to post-hiatus is apples to oranges, but the record's a record and he now has more entries in 2020, more than he did between 1999 and 2004. Before we head to the next topic, here's Royce's latest trick out of 50 Cent's playbook following the drama between Future, Scottie Pippen and his ex-wife. And here's Royce's post with what looks to be a doctored photo of Scottie with Conrose and the caption, this is all your fault, King Future. And if you don't know, Future is rumored to have had entanglement with Scotty's ex-wife before separation and has developed quite the reputation as the quote-unquote toxic king. And we move on to the next section of the video. Kanye West has ramped things up from the last time I covered this story. And he certainly doesn't agree with 50 Cent on the quote, happy wife, happy life, at least right now. He states, they try to fly in with two doctors to 5150 me. I've been trying to get divorced since Kim met with Mick at the Waldorf for quote-unquote prison reform. I got 200 more to go. This my lady tweet of the night. Chris Jong-un, Lil Baby my favorite rapper but won't do a song with me. Kanye wasn't done with taking shots at Kim. Chris and Kim put out a statement without my approval. That's not what a wife should do and he revisited the topic about Mick Mill. Mick is my man and was respectful, that's my dog. Kim was out of line, I'm worth $5 billion and more than that through Christ, but y'all ain't listen to MJ and now y'all believe them? And here's a viral depiction of Kim and Chris heading out to stop Kanye from tweeting according to a user. At this rate, I'm eager to see how this goes and Dave Chappelle hopped on a jet to check up on Kanye due to concerns over his health and Kris Jenner is still trending at the moment due to Kanye's remarks in several viral tweets. Next up today is about Logic and recently his collaboration with Eminem surpassed 250 million streams on Spotify, some positive news following his retirement announcement. He's been getting clowned by people on social media, including the likes of Button, and following the announcement of his partnership with Twitch worth 7 figures, gamers on social media have reacted in a similar fashion to his retirement. IGN reported that Logic has gained over 65,000 followers and 1.5 million views on Twitch and many responses are along these lines. Famous people should let platforms like Twitch for normal ordinary people who are looking to make profits and names for themselves. And I'd have to welcome this user to the real world where people leverage their fame for new opportunities that didn't start today and won't end today. Another user states, still not sure I see the logic in that and the memes seem to follow logic around. Now he's gonna tell the gaming world that he's biracial. And is there anyone watching that think logic's overrated? So he's gonna be overrated on streaming too. 
And that's one I don't see often about Logic, but Logic has a chance to shut down his haters tomorrow if his album turns out great, fingers crossed. That will be all for today, leave your thoughts below in the comments section, like and subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.